Hi guys, this is Martin, aka Martin the Vlogger, and today I have a continuation uh, to a video, it's an installation video about this Dynojet PowerVision 3. Uh, basically in the first video I told you what is this all about, how it can help you, and today's video we will do very quickly an installation, what you need to do before the installation, uh, where to connect it on the Riker, that's what you're gonna see, uh, what you need to do afterwards, how to download maps, or to whom to talk, in case you would like to have a custom map. And for those in Europe, if you don't know, like your Rikers are much slower than those in the US, in case you would like to have same performance as a stock Riker in the US, uh, you will find out what you need to do. Basically, you will need to talk to me. Guys, enough of this. Let's get started. Now, uh, let's do the unpackaging. I really don't know what's inside. I just grabbed this unit out. Obviously, that one's gonna be out inside. So let's do very quickly unpackaging. Uh, by the way, all of the videos about this Dynajet you can find on martindevlogger.com, uh, the largest vlog about Kenemon road vehicles, Rikers and Spiders. I do it ever since 2015, so plenty of stuff there. So what's inside? Uh, as I said, like manuals, not important. Uh, cable that we will need to plug in to our Riker. Awesome. And yeah, USB cable because that's something we will need uh, for downloading, first of all, the firmware. That's going to be the first thing. So we will refresh this unit. It doesn't matter when you have bought it. Always it's good to check what is the latest available basically a program that this unit is using. That's gonna be our first thing. Uh, and that's why we need this thing. We will need a computer, of course. And some 3M tapes so you can put it on, on the bike. And some stickers. Good, not important. So hopefully you can see it very easy. First thing what we will need to do, we would like to refresh our unit. And as, as I said, doesn't matter. Uh, if you have bought it in 2021 or 2020, it doesn't matter. You would like to have as fresh unit uh, or program that it carries as possible. So it's called firmware and that's something that we will need to download. So go to the dynojet.com, support, downloads. Choose our PowerVision 3. And now we have several options, installation guides, not that important, but here is a section that is called firmware. Click on it and we need to go for firmware for Canem version 4.8 ending with 229. Download. Click download, quick, click save and we're gonna have it in our downloads right over here. Now, this is a very simple process, what you need to do. Uh, grab the USB you have received with the unit. Uh, it's, uh, it's micro USB, quite old fashioned. Uh, and plug into your computer with USB port. So now, uh, this is very easy. Hopefully I don't have to show you like how to get to your folders. Uh, I have a download folder with the latest uh, firmware and this is basically uh, when you connect your PowerVision to a computer, it will appear as a regular USB stick, no like problem whatsoever. What I will do now, I will just simply move the firmware to the uh, Power U PowerVision 3, that's it. Now basically what you need to do, you need to tell to the unit to boot the latest firmware you have basically recorded to it. So backspace, now press the menu, uh, go to device tools, go to update device, and this is our file that we have recorded, press OK. Yes, I would like to update it. Now just for um, double checking, what I will do, I will go to device tools and device information 
and 229 4.8 it's the file that I have downloaded this is the latest firmware that this tool is running now as with every single uh, USB key that you have on your computer unplug it first from your computer so you don't harm the device now next step is that we will marry this Dynagen unit to our Riker. Why I say Mary? I have already explained this in my first video. Uh, once you will plug in your Dynagen PowerVision 3 to your Riker, it will marry your Riker. So without additional license, it will not work with any other vehicle. By the way, this is what I'm talking about. When you have your PowerVision plugged into your computer, you have uh, information like PowerVision info. If I open this text document, you will see it's paired zero times now. So once I will connect it to the Riker and I will turn this ignition on, not start the bike, just turn the ignition on, uh, the, the PowerVision 3 will learn everything from my vehicle and it will get married. Now what you will need to do, you need to plug in this bigger cable uh, to the to the unit itself you hear the click this one is there because in case you would like to keep the unit all the time on your bike uh, you do protect your uh, micro USB and this side goes on the bike actually the port is located uh, on the if I'm looking at the bike on the right side I just need to remove it uh, remove the cover there you go plug it in there we go and all we have to do is turn on the ignition and should be just that should be just fine so now we are officially married actually what i'm thinking uh, i'm not super sure if you need to marry uh, your Riker always first and then you know configure it. I mean definitely in case you would like to receive uh, Unlimited performance map from me. You need to marry the Riker and I'll show you in a minute which file you need to send back to me Definitely you need to do this also in case you would like to receive a custom map from somebody out there because you will need to send the same file as I will show you because that file basically gives a lot of information to the developer uh, when you don't need to do it it's actually the second part of this video where i'll just show you like how you can download the maps that are actually available on the dynajet.com so on your computer you need to plug in your powervision you need to go to the powervision info and have a look at this file it has already changed and with this unique information that they are there uh, and this file you will need to copy and attach to email to me so I can send you the unlimited map. By the way, some time has passed because I have been super busy, but actually because this is installation, so it's a great example that if you'd like to receive this file, that is an installation file from me, uh, you will need to wait 24 or 48 business hours in order for me to get the license and send it back to you. Whoop! Tiny bit of update. I was doing post-production of the video, of course, and I have noticed like the words that I'm using may be a little bit confusing. So I need to update you on this. Plus the video may look, so far it's very good, but then it may look a little bit like what the hell I'm doing. So I would like to really make it super clear because the installation, it's super easy. And three, I will explain you why I will not do the second part of the video. Okay, so the first thing, uh, explanation very quickly on a few words or correction on those words. If you will, if you have heard or will you heard that I'm saying unlimited performance map, it's not really a map. What I'm referring to and what you can get as one of the products on my website, it's power limitation unlock. It's power limitation unlock. It's actually not a map, it's a license. It's a big difference because all of the Rikers, in the Europe and those in the UK that came before the Brexit uh, have power limitation in place. Long story short, 
they will not accelerate as those ones in the US because of the EU emissions. So the solution is what I'm doing. So power limitation unlock with Dynajet PowerVision 3. Custom map, you will be able to get them on martindevlogger.com slash shop as well, because I'm working with Bill. Uh, it's needed, it's a custom job, all right? And it's needed when you are putting k and filters, for instance, on your Riker. And I know you can read a lot of things, like it will make uh, some kind of nice noise and stuff like that, but do you like to get also performance out from it? You need to update your Riker, okay? You need to put a custom map to it. PowerVision 3 with custom map will help you, all right? Do you have uh, exhaust there from RLS or any additional aftermarket exhaust? And do you like to get also performance out from it, not only the sound? The bike will breathe differently and you can get the performance out from it, but you will need uh, a modified map. And that's what you can get through the PowerVision 3 and custom maps that I'm also offering, you know? The thing is, and I will get to the info file and whole process that you need to do. Uh, last thing is the generic maps you can get. And that's the reason why I actually didn't record the video, uh, second part of this video, because first of all, I forgot. <laughs> and two, generic maps for me, it doesn't make really much sense because every bike is different. And now I'm coming to, to the point, like what you need to do, what you need to send, an, actually the whole process in a few, few points. One, uh, update your firmware, yes or no, it's up to you. I recommend to do it, but if you are not super skilled, just leave it and pray that it will work uh, perfectly, but it should. Two, you need to marry your bike, you know how. Three, you need to connect your PowerVision 3 to your computer. Open it the same way as a USB stick, so USB key basically, and find the file that is called PV underline info. There is only one folder that is called the same way and I need the text file, all right? So dot txt, it's called text file and you will need to email it to me in case you would like to have the license or in case you would like to have a custom map. Why? Because every Riker is different. Believe me or not, but every single one of them is different. Plus, I will ask you some questions in case you will go for a custom map, not when you will go for a license, okay? Custom map, I will ask you what type of exhaust you are running, what type of air filter you are running, uh, do you have headers, uh, what other tunes you have done to your bike, okay? And everything like this will be adjusted and send you a brand new map, all right? And you can turn it on and turn it off at any time. And how you will do it? Well, basically, you will send me the text file and wait for 24 or 48 hours, sometimes a little bit longer. It depends if you catch me on Friday or on Monday. And we will build it and send it back to you. You plug in your PowerVision 3, and all you have to do is just open it on the main folder page of the PowerVision 3, and voila, just move it there. And that's it. That's how difficult it is. Then you need to connect it just to your Riker and do whatever I did in a continuation of this video. Tiny bit of update, a little bit longer video, but very important for me to mentioning all of these things. Now, let's continue, and you will actually know what I'm doing. So, uh, I will send you uh, most probably uh, firmware, just in case, and also this file, just drag it, move it here. I already did it. So I have the file right over here, and now, let me show you uh, how to connect it and actually how to unlock the potential of the Riker. So now what I did very quickly is just a plug in. And uh, of course you will, in case you would like to use it somewhere on your handlebars or something, uh, you will need to fix this cable, of course. And uh, for, the, for the demo purposes for this video, I will use it here because I'm taking it out and I will show you what is the actually uh, the ultimate performance and how it behaves on a, on a European model of the Riker. So once your bike is on, whatever, uh, you don't need to start it. Uh, just go to the main menu, press the, this button in the middle, go to the vehicle tools, and right on the bottom, there will be enable 
power limiter. Basically, this one, it's the license that I will be sending to you. In case you like what I do, subscribe, hit the notification button because you will be always notified when I'm making a cool videos like this. Uh, stay tuned. Actually, uh, the shop is getting super busy and super full. So uh, stay tuned on that. And I have introduced today actually new logic uh, at martinthevlogger.com slash shop. It's a new navigation, completely new experience for you uh, to shop around, to see new items and stuff like that. So stay tuned on that. And now guys, I'm going to test ride it. So check that video and remember, be safe by yourself at the Dynajet or not, it's up to you. And always have fun.